Welcome folks, welcome to another video, I'm back off of a two week holiday. Be honest, did you miss me? Did you miss me while I was away for those two weeks? Probably not, but okay. Hurt my feelings like that then, why don't you? Yeah, yes. And I've not long watched the Xbox showcase for the 23rd of July 2020, where they showed off a myriad of new games and ones we already knew existed. They kicked off the show quite nicely, I think, with a little bit of Halo Infinite, an 8 minute gameplay footage. Montage? Footage. It's not montage because it was continuous gameplay. You insufferable twonk! Now, I've not been a big fan of the way the companies have been doing these wee showcases over the summer period. Had there been E3, we'd have all this information in the one conference, maybe two, three hours worth of conference. But now it's a wee hour here, a wee half hour there, a wee ten minutes here, a wee tweet there. It's fucking infuriating to get your information like that. We dribs, we drabs, we still don't know when these machines are out, we still don't know the price and it's like, look, realistically you've got three and a half months left until these things are out. Are you just not anticipating anybody buying your machine? Are you no caring? I don't understand. Please make this make sense. So I never thought I'd say this, but I want E3 back so we can get our information within a week. All of it within one week. We don't even know what Bethesda's releasing this year, mind you, they're probably not releasing anything because they made a complete and utter hurry at last year. Fallout 76, anybody? Only ways I'm getting sidetracked here, so they started off with Halo Infinite, people complained, of course they did. Looks shite, looks this, looks that. Uh, I don't have the energy for this anymore, I don't have the energy for gaming Twitter either. Where on Twitter you're not allowed to actually enjoy anything or like anything. Nothing's good, everything's bad, unless it's released by a particular company, like Sony. People think Sony can do no wrong, even though the last event they had was so fucking mediocre. It wasn't bad, it was just bleh. Now there's some of this conference here that Xbox did, which is a bit bleh. But overall, I got to see Halo, they announced a new Fable, they announced a new State of Decay, which is looking really pretty sweet. Okay, it's only a CG trailer, but I'm getting Last of Us vibes for it, which is, well, I'm not surprised, to be honest with you. I think in total there was like 22 new titles, maybe 30 games all in. There was something there for everybody, except nobody seemed to be all that happy with anything that was shown. Everything looked bad. Graphics were terrible, the animations are shite, the game just looks shite overall. So a CGI, there was some CGI cutscenes there, I fair enough. But, oh god. And this is where the problem is with these wee, wee conferences here and there, we're getting wee bits of this and wee bits of that. See if they lumped everything on at the one big massive like two, three hour conference, people would be fucking loving it. Same goes with Sony, I mean Sony the last one, they showed what amounted to be a bunch of fucking indie games, okay? I mean, they looked good and all that, but it's like, these aren't system sellers, why are you opening the gate with this crap? Had it been the start of a conference, and they left the big guns till later, fine, but these big guns are not coming in months, weeks, hours later, you're like, what are you doing? Hype up your machine, it's like, it's like none of them care, it's like, uh, well... People just bought the PS4 en masse because, well, they thought the Xbox One was shite, so they'll just buy this one en masse. Don't, don't do that, Sony. Microsoft. What are you doing? Fools! And they're saying this is going to be the biggest Xbox launch ever with like 100 plus games. I think they're fluffing the numbers a wee bit here. They're probably counting like maybe new backwards compatible games that they've no told us about. Why they haven't even, they haven't even talked about that. It's like, we've, we've retired the Xbox One X. We've not talked about backwards compatible and how that's going to be continuing. We've not talked about this new Xbox Lockhart S, S or whatever it's called, Xbox SS. We know it exists, so why aren't you talking about it? You've got three months potentially until your new machine's out and you've really done nothing to hype it much. Nothing much in my eyes anyway, nothing to get me, oh yes! I mean Halo looks good, I'm excited to play that. And I probably will pick up these new machines even though I said I didn't want to previously, but ah well, do you know what, I talk shite. And I've always had this sort of ethos in my life is that 
I'll do what I like and if you don't like it well you can tell me but I really don't care because I do what I want in my life. The money that I earn, I spend it how I see fit. If I want to change my mind six months down the line, it's my prerogative as a prick. Okay? Good. Now we've got that out of the way. Aye, so as we said, now had something for everybody here. Maybe except sports enthusiasts. The only sports game they had was Forza Motorsport, and that's what they're calling it. Not Forza Motorsport would be the 8 or 9. It's just called Forza Motorsport, so I can't help but think Xbox SX is just like a complete reboot of everything. We're just going to restart it. Oh, fuck it. We're just going to call Halo... Well, I'm surprised it's not Halo Infinite Combat Evolved, or Halo Combat Evolved Infinitely. What else have we got here, right? Some of the things I was surprised to see was Stalker 2. Now, I have briefly played the first Stalker. It was a bit of a janky mess. Then they disbanded and some of them went to 4A games and made the Metro series, which are amazing games. We're getting a sequel and I don't know if this is just an Xbox launch exclusive. I don't know if it's an Xbox exclusive entirely or is it coming to PS5 or PS4 or PS5 later on down the line. I imagine it'll be a multi-platform release. What else have we got here? Some of the... Some of the mm, things that I'm really looking forward to was uh, State of Decay 3, but I've mentioned Warhammer 40k Dark Tide. Yeah, it's from the people that made the Vermintide games, so just a lot of shooting through levels at Left 4 Dead, only it's going to be 40k rather than, than Warhammer, which, yeah, that'll be good, I hope. Hope it's single player, and I hope you don't need a fucking Xbox Live Gold subscription, which they're getting rid of, apparently. So I, I don't know if they're, they're rolling that on to... Like Xbox Game Pass and Xbox Gold is just going to be called Xbox Ultimate and they'll charge you double so if you don't want Game Pass, too bad you're getting it. What else have we got here? Psychonauts 2 looked pretty good, they talked about Hellblade 2 a little bit more but no gameplay. Uh, that was a mistake. Show does gameplay, come on. I thought this was meant to be a launch title but I, I'm guessing it's not. The only thing that I do know about it is it's set in Iceland. So hopefully we'll go the, the mad El Chibarino that is Senua and we'll get to just chib people to bits. Maybe it'll be a fictional Celtic war in Iceland with the, the Vikings because one of the Vikings went to Iceland as well. Another Tetris game's coming out. Who the, what the fuck? Why was that even in there? Crossfire X is looking good. I thought this was just going to be a fucking shitey fucking arena shooter like your Overwatch is only with a more realistic flavour. Apparently not. It's um, It's got multiplayer but it's made by Remedy Games and it's looking rather sweet. It's got look, what well, looks like sto story mode, single player and all that shit. I am fucking excited for that. What else have we, what else have we got here? What the fuck? I can't even read my own bastard in handwriting. Something called Avowed. Now, what I like to say about Avowed is, who the fuck needs Elder Scrolls? Well, I'll still get Elder Scrolls, but this looks like um, it could be a great contender for that for that little fucking piece of the pie. There's not very many games that like Elder Scrolls, and many good ones anyway. I am not talking to you two worlds. I am not talking to you. Then we've got something called The Gunk, where it looks like you go around as a, a person with a giant horn and a hoover, and you hoover up genetically modified space jobby. So I'm buying that day one. Medium looks good. I should stop saying this looks good, that looks good. If I'm talking about it, I'm interested, right? Medium looks good. Oh, fuck. It's uh, basically Silent Hill without being Silent Hill. Now, apparently Sony have got a new fucking... another one of their silly events coming up in August. Look. Just fucking get it out there, get the information out! One big massive blowout, what's wrong with you? This trickle-down effect of information is shite and it's like it's holding my excitement to a, a, a degree right but it's pissing me off more than anything else because i'm like well what's next when's it happening i don't know it's either come to the fact that places like microsoft and sony they just kind of plan and organize shit they don't know what the fuck they're doing they're fumbling in the dark do we tell them this now do we tell them this later and it's fairly evident that's what's happening because it's a fucking mess had it been E3, they're like, well, we've got a conference, right, we've got two hours to fill, what will we talk about? As much as we can. And that's what they did. Now it's, we'll talk for a wee half hour about this game. We'll show 30 seconds of gameplay of that game. You're like, fuck off, just get the thing out. Fucking move, fucking move. Fucking, oh, I think I'm going to come off Twitter and all, I'm getting fed up with the fucking place. There's no dickheads fucking posting spoilers of things. I'm not finished yet. It's fucking Torags just slagging each other to fuck Xbox fanboys. 
fucking Sony fanboys and it's like, oh, we're all just caught in the middle of it. I just want to have a nice conversation. I should probably just start fucking muting and blocking these bastards. Which is, uh, that's not off the cards. It's like, oh, this is hilarious. You're, like, mm, you're just acting like children. It's like, one dickhead put up, I looked up the definition of, like, fucking, was it, like, amazing or fucking perfection? And it didn't have a word. Um, well, how did you know you looked it up, then? It just had a picture of the PS5, and I thought, oh my god, that's embarrassing. Who thought you thought that was a good idea? I hope you're not an adult, because that's like fucking cringe, my man. Or woman. I think it was a guy. Fucking, oh. I was like, man, that actually makes me feel physically sick, and I had to comment on it. I had to, I couldn't let it go. Can I let these things go? See if something's mediocre. Look, the Sony fanboys look. Why can't Xbox just fucking admit when their things shite? Well, why can't you admit when your things are shite and all? Then you look. Just go away. We ain't your wee fucking echo chamber thing bollocks. It's not an echo chamber. It's like a, it's like a skin tight ball sack around their heads and they're just like a big bubble of shite and they just rattle against each other all day. Mm, the thing, your thing's the best. I'll chip you if you don't think so, it's like, it's almost religious, and that's kind of like, mmm, this is where I'm sort of like, I'm getting the fuck out of here, because you, you're starting to defend your plastic box with a, a, with a religious fervour, and I don't like it, everything else is bad except my PlayStation, you're like, is that because you can't afford anything else, and you just like the PlayStation more, fair enough, but let's not all sit around in a big fucking circle, thinking that Sony can do no wrong, Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dude. So bad, dude. See people that say dude every third fucking word. And punch your fucking head in. <laughs> I fucking dare <die> you! <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry about that. I had to let that little bit of bile out. It just, you know, builds up in the chest like a cough. And you just have to <coughs> get it out there. I'm better now. <sighs> right, I've got yum yums to eat and I've got... What the fuck is this I'm drinking? Here's a wee bit of product placement for you. Thistle cross cider. Whiskey cask. Whiskey, it's whiskey cider. God, it's probably like petrol. Hold on, let me do ah, Tastes like what's it's. Right, I'll see you on the next video.